Nardo. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good. Thanks for your patience. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Started with, how many years has it been now? When did you start doing this? Stuff? Putting oh, yourself gosh. on the web. I posted my first video in 2006. So it's been two years and it seems like it's been going by really fast because it, it's, I remember like yesterday posting my first video. And would you do me a favor and spell your name for me? It's D-O-N-D-R-I-A. Uh-huh. Nicole, right? Uh-huh. And that's D-O-L-E. How old are you? I'm 21. 21. Okay, so in 2006, what made you decide to do this? Actually, someone referred me to YouTube to watch... Uh, like a dumb video. You know how they have those funny videos that, um, I don't know, with people fighting and playing jokes on people or whatever. So I went on there to look at one of those and I saw people on the side column singing. And so I clicked on a few and some of them were bad, some of them were good. And I was like, I want to do this, I want to sing. So that was my inspiration. Now, had you been singing up until 2006? Was singing a big thing for you? Yes, it was. I've always been in a choir since I was like three. And once I got into middle school, I was taking voice lessons and competitions. In high school, I was in a million choirs and at church as well. And even in college, I was majoring in music education. So it's always been like a big part of my life. And when you sing, how do you feel? When I sing, that's like, that's my... I guess my release, you know, from anger, sadness, whatever. It makes me happy. Okay, and so 2006, posted your first video. What did you think? When I posted my first video, it was... I didn't really know what to expect, but uh, the feedback was so, like, nice. And <laughs> I was like, people really like me, so... Um, I don't know, it just made me want to, you know, make more videos and see, like what I could do with different songs, how I could challenge myself, and people started requesting videos, so. Um, what was that first song called? The first song I recorded was, oh my gosh. That's, 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 <laughs> that's the bird. <laughs> the bird? Yeah, it was a bird. <laughs> the first video I recorded was um, Love by M Music. Oh my god. I'm gonna go close the door really quick. So that's the bird outside your house? No, he's inside. <laughs> it's a parrot. Uh oh. It's a parrot. Okay. So your first video was Love? Love by Music Soul Child. Okay. And what did you do? Was it just a shot of you singing the way? Yeah, I I didn't have any instrumentals. I didn't really know what I was doing at the beginning, so I just you know turned my camera on and I just, I probably sung the whole song, but I mean it was just very very raw. It was just I don't know. It was really plain. My first one it was really plain. And how many videos have you posted on YouTube? Would you say? Right now, I believe I have like forty four or forty five videos posted. Mm -hmm. And. You know, you started kind of posting them, and tell me what what happened. It, the thing started taking off for you. It, I can't even like explain the the growth. I just know it was like a year later. I know I had twenty five videos, and um, people were writing me asking me, you know, that they wanted to do songs with me, and you, know, you should get signed. You'd be a great artist. You know, all of these things, and then. Lo and behold, I get a message from Jermaine Dupri. Like, I don't know what happened in the middle. I just, <laughs> it just kind of like fast forwarded to a year later. And what was that? So he contacted you, what's that? Tell me about that. The first time he contacted me, it was on MySpace and I didn't believe it was him. I thought it was other people, you know, trying to con me or maybe even spam, just like, People messing with me. I didn't think it was really him because at that time I was getting so much stuff from people and we fed into a lot of that and we were disappointed in the end. So by the time he came, I was like, okay, 
this is enough. I don't I don't believe it's him. Okay, and so he contacted you through my face and then you talked to him. And what did he tell you? The first message he left, it was saying that he's been trying to get in touch with me for a long time and he's seen a lot of my videos. Call him back. That's it. And I was like, okay. So <laughs> I called him back and he didn't really give me much about as far as, you know, him signing me. It was more like he told me he wanted to shoot a video with me and Jagged Edge, like in my house, just to like gain views for me, get me more views and more subscriptions and stuff. And that's it. So like we set a date and everything and the date was, you know, slowly approaching and like the day before his people were like, uh, there's been a change in plans. Okay. So what happened was he ended up flying me and my mom to Atlanta to meet him and to meet Jagged Edge. And that's when we had like more time to talk about really what he really wanted, which was to sign me. And he, when did he sign you? Maybe like in the fall, the fall of last year. That's sick. Fall of last year now, you're recording your first album right yes how's that going it's going very well it went really really fast I, at first I was coming back and forth now I'm just kind of just here and stuck here but um the album is basically it's almost done we're probably gonna do maybe two or three more songs and then um it'll be you know the I guess the um elimination it's so that the best songs can be on the cd and you're home right now no, I'm in Atlanta. You're in Atlanta right now, okay. Um, so you're still recording, and you know, talk, let's talk about just how YouTube kind of helped get you here. I mean, like I said before, it just ha it happened so fast, but it, right now I might have 35,000 subscribers, I believe. I know I have over a million views, and I think it was just the feedback. Like, they really, really follow me, and they, they really feel like they know me. And because I reach out to them so much, like, I, before all of my videos, I talked for, like, 10 hours about how my day was or what I ate. And, like, in my previous videos, I was always eating. And I was like, I'm eating this today. And I give them my MySpace. I give them my AIM and my, um, I have a Say Now number. I give them, like, all of my information that I can give them. <laughs> and you know they reach out to me and I reach back to them I answer all of their mail and I think that like we even though I don't know each and every one of them personally I still feel like I have a relationship with them and they feel the same way and that's why like they're so devoted to me and yeah and it sounds like that was the key to your success on YouTube yeah it was I mean at first you only reached what a couple hundred and now you're reaching thousands of people yeah 